Hi, this is Cedric Padvan, co-founder of Vertex Marketing Agency, a Facebook ad agency. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how you can analyze your ads so you can keep doing what works and pause what doesn't work. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here. And the first thing that we will do is prime our environment. So we can do that by adding the proper columns. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the columns. And after that, I'm going to click on custom columns so we can see on the right what we already have in our view. Now, this is where it kind of depends on your campaign goals. But since I'm sure the majority of you watching this video are probably going to be doing something like a conversion campaign or a purchase campaign, I'm going to assume that, that you know, that's your goal is to get conversions. So let's get started with that goal, right? So I always have like to have the CTR checked and added to my view because if I'm not seeing conversions, I want to know if the problem, you know, is it the landing page, the ad or the audience? And if the CTR is high, but I'm not seeing conversions, I'll know that there's a problem with the landing page. And the, the experience the users receives when looking at the ad isn't what the landing page is showcasing. And that would be the problem, right? Um, now, the second thing I like to add to my view is the CPC, the cost per click. I look at the cost per click very often in the early stage of a campaign because I know the industry average for CPC for almost any industries. So I want to know if our, C per C, our CPC sorry, is on the higher side and when it is, it's usually an early sign that I'll have to make some adjustments in the campaign. So after that, I always like to see how many clicks in total we are generating for a website. Then after that, CPM is another metric that I like having in my view since it tells me if my ad resonates with my audience and if it's higher, it can also be an early sign that the campaign won't be as fruitful. Now, if you're using videos in your ads, I always like to add the video plays at the video plays at metrics since it will let me see at what point do people stop watching my video. And if I see a use drop at like 50%, I might go and change the video to try to get them to watch more of it. Also, if you're in, e in the e-commerce industry, this is one of, uh, you know, this one's a must and you need to have the purchase metric added to your view. So you can go ahead and click on the value. And if you set up your Facebook pixel properly, it will report how much money you've made per conversion. I strongly recommend you take a look at my other video where I show you how to set it up. Uh, the link will be in the description. So now that you've added the proper columns to your view, let's take a look at the breakdown feature inside of ads manager. So I have this campaign checked here. So I'm going to go on the ad set level and please note that you can use the breakdown feature on the ad set um, and also on the ads level. I personally like to go on the ads level, depending on how many ad sets am I looking at, but on the ads level and then looking at what's performing best in terms of images, in terms of uh, headlines and text. Um, but you know, there's a bunch of different use case for looking at it on the ad set, on the ads level. It kind of depends on what you're looking for. So here um, I have two ad sets that are currently running and generating results and I have both of them checked. I'm now I'm going to go on the ads level. And if I click on the breakdown feature here, I can do it by time, by delivery, by action and by dynamic creative elements. So if you're not too familiar with dynamic creative, it's something that you can check on the ad set level and it allows you to insert multiple images, videos, headlines, and then Facebook goes ahead and match a specific combination of like a, an image and a headline and description to a specific user to increases of the chance of the user taking the desired action, which in this case would be a conversion. So you're kind of like working with Facebook and Facebook is giving you hints on like, Hey, I'm going to show this specific combination of image and headline and description to that user because I know my users best and I know that this user would convert if they'd see something like that. So again, Facebook has all this information in their database. So dynamic creative is amazing. And you can take a look under the breakdown feature to see which image is converting more or converting best. You can access that just by clicking the image video and then slideshow. And we can see here that 
you know, we have a bunch of different images and we can see in, under the metrics, the amount of results that we're generating for each image. And we can also go here, clear the breakdown and do it with the text. So it's going to show you the text that we're using for the specific image and which text is again, generating the best results so that I know, okay, well, this one's working well, I'm going to go ahead and delete the one that isn't working well. And I'm going to create another version, like the one that is working well and to replace the one that wasn't working well. So you can keep doing these sort of things and looking at the data and always optimizing uh, your ad, your ad account. And honestly, the breakdown, the breakdown feature is an amazing way to just look at your data. I also like to do it by delivery and looking at the age, right? So I can see, okay, well, especially in this ad, I can see that people between the age of 25 to 34 are the ones really converting and becoming leads. So potentially something I would do on the ad set level is say, Hey, Facebook only target the people between the age of 25 to 34 and not anyone else that is, you know, either over that or under that, because we see here that all the conversions are coming from people in that age group, which makes sense because we're targeting like young parents. So yeah, this is it. This is how you take a look at your ads inside ads manager and how you make data driven decisions by using custom columns and the breakdown feature. So if you did enjoy this video, please do like and subscribe to the channel. I make videos like this every week. Anyways, bye for now.